Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Welcome to Dear Cypress Sue. Today's topic is, are you sacrificing too much to be in a relationship? Sometimes what happens is when we meet somebody that we really fall for, we tend to be really giving. We're sitting there doing everything in our possible nature to make them happy. And then what happens is all of a sudden we start looking around and saying to ourselves, I feel like I've kind of lost myself somewhere. I'm giving so much to them and I'm not getting anything for myself. The trouble with these type of relationships is they're unbalanced. And if they're unbalanced, it's only a matter of time until it completely upsets the other way. The super important thing to remember when you're in a solid relationship is that you both have your own life. You have your foundation of who you are at your core and then you come together with somebody and it meshes really well together. I can't stress the importance enough of respecting yourself first. If you don't value who you are and have respect for your needs and things that are important in your life, you're going to always have this sort of void. There's always going to be something missing and you're going to wonder what the heck it is because all of your energy is going to somebody else. Valuing yourself is so important if you want to have a very powerful reciprocated love with somebody because it isn't always about making your partner happy. It's about making yourself happy. And when you're both taking time to do what makes you happy, and then you come together as a couple and also make each other happy, it's a win-win situation. Unfortunately, there's a lot of lopsided relationships out there because somebody loves the other person maybe a little bit too much. You have to choose your partner based on how you live your lifestyle, your importance of the priorities of things in your life. If you're on the same page with your partner when it comes to those priorities, you have a really good chance, chance at having a successful partnership. If you were always sacrificing your needs to make your partner happy, you're eventually going to resent them. And it's not really their fault because you're the one that's allowing it. You're the one that's saying, well, I love them. I want to do this for them. But they want you to be happy and to live your life too. They don't want to be your everything because it can be a turnoff. It's too much pressure on them as well. It might feel good for a little while on both sides, you giving them taking, but it's not a reciprocated partnership when it continues for long like that. Relationships ebb and flow and sometimes maybe one partner gives a little bit more than the other and then vice versa. And that's just the way some relationships work as time goes by because maybe you've got different things going on in your life where your partner can be there a little bit more for you and then you take turns doing it for them when it, when it changes. And this is what is a healthy relationship is when you get it and you're there for each other for certain times, but you shouldn't be there 99.9% .9 of the time and then your own needs take a back seat. So if you're finding that your relationship is changing and your partner's becoming a little bit more of a taker and then you're feeling like you're giving more and more and more to make them happy, it's just going to take a toll on you. It's going to really be damaging to your self-esteem because you're going to be questioning your relationship. Start pulling back a little bit about what you're doing for them. Do more things for yourself and then when you when you are back together in your home and you're having an evening, you're sharing things. It's equal. The conversation is equal. It's you're sharing things that are happening to you during the day and it gives you as a couple things to talk about. It also adds a different element to your relationship because it's not just about one thing. You're sharing everything that's going on in both your lives. You can still be a loving, romantic partner without having to be the one that sacrifices everything in a relationship. If you find that it's gone on for too long and you're afraid to change it up, sit down and just talk to them about it and just say, I really feel like I've lost myself. I don't know 
what's happened to me, where, why I've allowed this to continue. I want to bring myself back into the mix so that we can have a balanced relationship again. And hopefully your partner will be on board with that and will help you to bring that back in. Sometimes we just care too much about our partner and we don't realize that we're going overboard. We have to pull back and hold on to who we are as well because your partner wants the person they met in the beginning and that's who they fell in love with. So don't lose that side of you. Bring it back. Have a little chat with them and if you can't talk to them, go talk to a counselor about it or a really good friend and just sit down and maybe they can help give you some tools on how to sort of slowly pull back into feeling good about who you are and being, being that person that you are at the core. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe. I love it when you do. And leave any comments or show topics underneath the video here. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.